this is Rick. I'm a farmer with the Green Our Planet School Garden Program and today I'm going to show you how to make a planting pot out of a used toilet paper roll. Something we normally throw away and we're going to show you how to reuse this and uh, let you plant at home. So what we do is start with a product we usually throw in the garbage and this is a used toilet paper roll. Um, what I want to do is crush it and make it flat like this and that just helps us cut it in half easier. So I take my scissors, I cut it in half like this and you'll have two equal cuts. Um, you might have your parents help you with this. So what you have is two equal pieces. And what you want to do is you want to take the open end and you want to cut about an inch up into the open end like that. And then you want to take the toilet paper roll and fold it the other way. And you'll have an uncut side and you cut an inch into it just like that. And what you end up with is four flaps. And then you take those four flaps and you fold them in, in a circular motion, one to four. And what you end up with is this. So now those flaps are inside the pot. Flip the pot open like it would be sitting with the plant, just like that. And you want to fold those flaps back out. Now remember, we folded them in a circular motion, one to four. So they will be in order, so it's easy to fold those flaps out so that they fold out perfectly. And what that will do, it'll give you this. So fold the flaps out, one, two, three, four, and you have a planting pot. That planting pot will allow you to do this. See how the roots are just coming out the bottom? This is a tomato seedling. Um, I've put some potting mix in there with the seed. And this is about four to five weeks of growth. Um, they've just been outside lately to get a little bit of sun to get them ready to put in the garden. But that's what you can do with the toilet paper roll. So you get two planting pots out of every toilet paper roll. All right. What I've done is I've made a bunch of pots, pre-made them, and I take them outside and I fill them with dirt. Any dirt will do. Um, you can go get potting soil if you want. You can get a seedling mix. And I took it outside. I did this all outside because dirt can be messy and I filled up the pot, put it in a little container full of water to let it soak up the water and uh, get the potting soil nice and moist. Now usually you want to wet your potting soil a little bit so you don't have to wait for it to rehydrate um, if it's dry in the bag. This was a little dry so I wet it first, put it in this little dish. Um, you can leave it in a container like that. Um, you can use any of the other to-go containers that I showed you in a prior video. And I'll give you another look at those at the end of this video. But here's where we are. Planting pot's got dirt in it. Um, it's ready for planting. So what I do is I take my pencil and I just simply make a little hole in my planting pot with the pencil. Now this hole is going to the depth of this hole is going to depend on how big of a seed you're going to put in there. And I made a little chart here. Now, each seed is a little bit different. You can see the sunflower seeds are a lot bigger than the tomato seeds. That's going to tell you how deep to plant your seed. You can put your seed in your planting pot um, up to three times deeper than the seed is big. So obviously the sunflower seed is going to go in a lot deeper 
than the tomato seeds. Um, you do want to get your seeds, no matter how small they are, deep enough in the pot so that they'll stay moist. Um, but that's not a problem if you're using a covered container. So into our pot, you just simply make your planting hole, drop your seeds in, move the dirt over the seeds, and just lightly tamp down. You don't want to do this too heavily because remember we're dealing with a little baby seed. And that's it. Um, that's all you're going to need to do. And then after you have it planted, you can put it in any of the pots that I mentioned earlier. Remember I showed you this in a prior video. This is a to-go container. It has a nice little lid that it can go over it. You're going to have this lid on it while the seeds are waiting to wake up and germinate. And once they pop out of the soil, you can take that lid off and do this. Here's another one. This had some sort of sprouts or something in it. I simply closed the lid and as soon as the plant started popping up out of the dirt, I just opened up the soil. So these plants you're looking at, um, I planted them about five weeks ago and they are ready to go out in the garden. They have been spending some time out in the sun and you want to do that slowly if you've started your seeds indoors. If you've moved them outside as soon as they've started popping up out of the soil, you want to keep them in a shady, um, protected spot. Keep them out of direct sun until they get old enough to handle it. Um, let me show you over here what happens if you get your plants in the sun too quickly. Uh, you see this poor little guy here? I put it out in the sun a little too quick, got a little bit of sunburn. Um, you want to be careful about this. So just get them out in the sun slowly if you haven't had them out in the sun before. Shady spot for a couple of days, give them a little bit more sun every day. Um, don't do like I did guys and burn your plants. So again, this is making a planting pot out of using a used cardboard roll. We used toilet paper roll, but you can use wrapping paper, um, any thin cardboard tube you can cut up and make into planting pots. So thank you for joining me again. This is Rick from the Green Our Planet School Garden Team. Keep on growing.